Hey guys, it's Harleywood. So I'm out at the range today, and we're going to take a look at the Gemtech Mist. This is an integrally suppressed 1022 barrel. It is a monocore. I'll go over that a little bit more when we get this on the tabletop. Today we're going to shoot a few types of ammo. I have regular standard velocity stuff that is 1,070 feet per second. I have some of this Quiet 22 that is 710 feet per second. This will not cycle the bolt, so in the video you'll see me, you know, kind of manually having to, to cycle each round. And then I also got some of this American Eagle suppressor, and this is a 970 feet per second. This I have not yet shot in this barrel, and it may actually cycle the bolt. We'll see. I'll post a, a little banner on the bottom of each clip so you know what I'm shooting. This thing is extremely quiet. It's it's with that suppress with the quiet 22. It's it's almost you know, all you hear is the bolt. I mean it is so quiet. Now with this monocore, that first round you are going to have a little bit of additional pop on it. I'm in no way a silencer expert. Um, I partnered up with Silencer Shop and wanted to check some of these things out, but there's a lot that I still have to learn. And part of of this that journey I'm taking you on is just to learn along with me. So if I get something wrong, give me a little grace and offer me some correction in the in the comments below. Totally willing to uh, you know to hear where I may have gone wrong. But let's go ahead and do some shooting, and then we'll put this on the tabletop and finish it up. So quiet, I can't believe that. Yeah. Yeah, this in. You have to hold this down? No. No. What is this for? That's for the magazine release. Oh, okay, okay. Basic VC school didn't teach you much. No. We only know AKs. Yeah. <laughs> NVC. That thing is so quiet, man. I like that. That's a lot of fun. Whoa. <laughs> you hear that? Which one are you shooting at? The hundred yard one. The gongs? No, the silhouette. Oh, that's one hundred and fifty-five. There you go. Whew. Took a minute to get there. <laughs> Where are you holding? Head. Which one you shooting at? I'm gonna go for the the one way up the hill. Yeah, I see the branch though. Yeah. I don't know if that'll interfere or not. Might be able to just get under it. Nope. I feel like I saw that one go to the right. I heard it hit brush. 
hit something there. That was a weird sound. Why'd it hit the stand? Come in a closer one. Oh, it's going under it. I see it. Yep. There you go. I can see the trail. Yep. You holding at the head? Um, I'm actually holding probably eight inches above the head. Okay. And I'm hitting it in the belly. So if you were aiming at the head, you were probably hitting the bottom of the target. Okay. So, I mean, shit, for that one way out there, I'm going to have to hold yeah, 18, inch, above, yeah, yeah. 18 inches, 24 inches up. You won't do that with those branches hanging down, I don't think. Right. So, there is your look at that monocore baffle stack. You have roughly, I think, 8 inches of rifling. Um, and then the rest is the is the baffling. Now, one of my buddies while we were on the range asked, because of this seam right here, it almost made it seem like you could separate these two. However, that would make it a two-stamp uh, weapon. You would have the silencer, plus you'd have a, a short barrel rifle. So this looks like it's actually welded, and they cannot be taken apart. So this is a single-stamp setup. If you saw my review of the EOS 22 from KG Made, I mentioned in that video that the rifled section of that barrel was 3.9 inches. This one is basically double that. Now on that video, a lot of people commented that they didn't understand the need for a 3.9 inch barrel. They thought that it should be something seven, eight, nine, ten. Some, you know, a lot of a lot of numbers were thrown out there. And it was explained in that video, but let me explain it again. The purpose of that was that so full power 22, you know, your normal standard velocity CCI ammo would not get a full powder burn and therefore leave the barrel at a subsonic rate even though it's a full power round. This is probably not going to give you that luxury. This is probably still going to perform a full powder burn and I will say although the EOS 22 may be a decibel, two, three decibels quieter with that same round, this one is probably going to be a little bit more accurate. Now that's going to be at anything outside of 40 yards. Inside of that, they are very, very comparable to each other. I did a lot of shooting with this. I did a lot of shooting with the EOS 22. And groups inside of um, 40 yards are, you know, two and a half, three inches on both of these pretty consistently. This one gets a little bit more accurate than, than the EOS 22 when you get out to distance. So I got this from silencershop.com. I'm going to post a link in the description below. They're doing some really cool stuff right now with Form 1 and being able to fill it out directly on their website. They say it's just as easy as swiping your credit card. VSO Gun Channel did a really cool demo of that. I'm gonna post a link in the description below if you're interested in seeing that. This retails for about $500, and there's also a version of this that works on the 1022 takedown. So check that out. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. Lots more videos to come, and we'll see you on the next one.